Erectile dysfunction is distressing and for many men, embarrassing. But according to the results of two new medical studies, men ignore the problem at their peril. All new here at 6, our Jim Swift tells us doctors now know ED can be the proverbial canary in the coal mine of heart disease. So, Doc, we've all seen them, those TV commercials pushing pills as a way to uh, stiffen a man's resolve when it comes to erectile dysfunction. Talking to your doctor about erectile dysfunction isn't easy. I see a ton of people with erectile dysfunction, and you're not kidding. They, they make up excuses to come to see you so they can say, oh, by the way, I got one more thing to ask you, you know, the Columbo out the door, you know, one more question, Doc, kind of thing. And, th and that's the way it kind of works out. But two new studies indicate that men who have ED, aggravating though it is, may also be dealing with something much more damaging, even deadly. If you have erectile dysfunction, then moving forward over the next five years, your chance of having a heart attack is almost doubled, and your chance of dying from a heart from a heart-related problem is almost doubled as well. That's because plaque that clogs arteries in and around the heart shows up first in smaller arteries in the pelvic region, arteries that are supposed to engorge the penis with blood during sexual arousal. I think that the link between erectile dysfunction and heart disease may be enough to encourage them to come, and it may even be enough for their partners or their family members to get them to go in there. So and now you're sort of dealing with more than yourself. When you're, when you're dealing with erectile dysfunction. Because you could die. You could die. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in. Heart disease, of course, is not the only cause of erectile dysfunction, so there's no need to panic. But ED patients in high-risk groups are especially vulnerable. That means men who meet at least three of these categories. Over the age of 45, tobacco smokers, and those with diabetes, uncontrolled high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels in the blood. Go ahead and breathe. The first step, though, is to get thee to a doctor. ED is not really a reflection of manhood, but it may actually be a reflection of underlying heart disease. It may be heart disease below the belt. Taking another deep breath in. Jim Swift, KXAN. And hold it. Austin News. There is some good news, though. Jim tells us that early intervention can not only prevent damage to the heart, but can also sometimes improve erectile dysfunction symptoms as well.